Let us see today determination of transport number or transference number or it is also called cutoff number. What is called transport number? It is defined as the fraction of total current carried by the cation or anion. It is uh, represented by T plus or T minus. There are two methods for the determination of transport number. They are cutoff method and the moving boundary method. Cutoff method is based on the measurement of changes in ionic concentration in the vicinity of the electrode or around the electrode due to the passage of electric current during electrolysis. Whereas moving boundary method is based on measuring the speed of displacement of boundary between the two solutions. There is a boundary between the two solutions. We are measuring the speed of displacement of the boundary between the two solutions due to, an, due to the passage of electric current. Mm. In this, we will study about the principle of Kitov method. During electrolysis, there is a loss or fall in the cationic or anionic concentration around any electron. This fall in the concentration is directly proportional to the speed of the ion. The experimental setup for the Hickoff method is shown in the diagram. It consists of three components, Hickoff cell, it is nothing but electro electrochemical cell, electrolytic cell, coulometer and power supply. The Hickoff cell consists of, it consists of three, com three compartments, anodic compartment, metal compartment and a cathodic it consists of two electrodes. The electrolytic cell consists of silver nitrate solution. It is poured with the silver nitrate solution. During electrolysis, the silver ion, the cations, migrate or moves towards the cathode and the nitrate ions from this compartment migrate or moves towards the anode. So, there is a fall in the concentration, I said earlier, there is a fall in the concentration of Ag plus cations around the anode. Similarly, there is a fall in the concentration of nitrate ion around the cathode. The coulometer, for example, copper coulometer or silver coulometer is connected in series with the Hit of electrolytic cell. The third component, power supply, is used to, to carry out the electrolysis. Good morning. Let us see today hit of method for the determination of transport number or transference number. Okay. We have already seen the experimental setup, the principle of Kitov method. Here we will see the Kitov theoretical device. Kitov electrolytic cell, I have shown here, here consists of three compartments cathodic compartment, middle compartment, and anodic compartment. This is the theoretical Kitov device. Okay. Before electrolysis, so it, it consists of the Kitov cell consists of two electrodes, cathode and anode. The positive charged electrode is called anode, the negatively charged electrode is called the cathode in electrolytic cell. Okay. Now, the cations, see the, in the heat of cell, silver nitrate solution is taken in all the three compartments. In all the three compartments, the silver nitrate solution is taken before, before electrolysis, this is the ionic arrangement. This is the ionic arrangement before electrolysis. 
During electrolysis, during electrolysis, the cations, cations move or migrate from the anodic compartment to the cathode because of electrostatic attraction between plus and the minus. Similarly, during electrolysis, the anions, the anions migrate from the cathodic compartment to the anode because of the electrostatic attraction between the positively charged electrode and the and the anode. After electrolysis, there is see because of the migration of uh, silver ion from anode to cathodic compartment, there is loss in cation concentration. There is loss in cation concentration due to the movement. Okay, due to the movement during electrolysis. Whereas there is a fall in concentration or loss in anion concentration. You see, anions are migrated from cathodic to anodic compartment. Therefore, there, are, there is loss or fall in anion concentration around the cathodic compartment, around the cathode. Therefore, this loss in this loss is loss or fall in cation concentration is directly proportional to the mobility of the ion, speed of the ion. If the mobility is greater, then there will be more loss. There will be huge loss in falling concentration. Therefore, there is no change in there is no change in the middle compartment. There is no change in the middle compartment. Now, falling concentration of anion around the cathode is directly proportional to the directly proportional to the ionic mobility of the anion u minus. Similarly, falling concentration of falling concentration of cation around the anode is directly proportional to the ionic speed or ionic mobility of the cation u plus. Let us divide 1 by 2 u minus by u plus equal to falling concentration around cathode divided by falling concentration around anode. Now add 1, one uh, left hand side and also right. 1 plus u minus by u plus, therefore 1 plus hp. Now, on cross multiplying, you will get u plus plus u minus divided by u plus fa plus fp by fa. Now, invert this equation. u plus divided by u plus u minus equal to, that is fa by, this is nothing but, we have already studied the transport number. This is the transport number, the relationship between transport number and ionic mobility is given by this relation. Okay, now T plus the transport number of cation or uh, silver plus ion equal to number of gram equivalent. See, number of falling concentration, number of gram equivalent of silver ion, silver ion or cation lost from anodic compartment divided by the Total number of gram equivalent, total, see total, on total falling concentration, therefore total number of gram equivalent last from both the compartments, anodic and the cathodic compartment. According to Faraday's second law, according to Faraday's second law, T plus equal to number of gram equivalent last from anodic compartment divided by, divided by total current, total current passed to the total current passed through the or carried by the ions that is equal to Q that is equal to Q that is number of gram equivalent copper deposited for example the same total number of coulombs current passed through the pitot cell and also to the copper coulomb meter connected in series copper coulomb actually in copper Meter is connected in series with this bit of stuff. So, the same quantity of electricity is passed through bit of cell as well as uh, copper meter. Therefore, number of gram equivalents deposited, copper deposited is equal to total number of coulombs passed or carried, current carried by the ion. Therefore, equal to Q. Let us, uh, now from this relation, you can by means of 
precipitation titration by means of precipitation titration we can measure the we can measure the falling concentration of silver ion we can measure the falling concentration of the that is number of gram increments is asked similarly by measuring the by measuring the increase in mass of the electrode by electrogravimetry number of gram equivalent copper deposited is obtained therefore t plus is obtained now the transfer number of anion is obtained using this relation the maximum value of the fraction the maximum value of the fraction is equal to 1 t plus to t minus equal to 1 therefore from this relation t minus the transfer number of anion is calculated from the transfer number of cation for example for example falling concentration of silver ion the falling concentration of silver ion silver ion is missing they are, they are they have migrated migrated to cathode so falling concentration of silver ion is equal to number of gram equivalents or h let us see in exam let us write it okay now mass of copper deposited in copper cool meter for the same passage of current same passage of current charge that is equal to how much uh, copper deposited 0.0387 gram that is the uh, y we can call it as y now number of gram equivalents this is mass number of gram equivalents therefore divide this by equivalent mass of copper what is the equivalent mass of copper copper 2 plus therefore atomic mass divided by number of electrons involved therefore 63.5 divided by 2 that is equal to 31.8 equal to z okay therefore t plus the transfer number of silver ion is equal to number of gram equivalent lost from the anodic compartment divided by number of gram equivalent of copper deposited therefore 0.42 from this t minus is obtained using this relation 0.58 therefore the transfer number is the fraction of current total current carried by the ion is called transport number so we have determined by doing this experiment we have determined the transport number of anion in this cation thank you for watching